question is going to be from Joe Cook. Joe. Hey, what's going on, Tommy? Joe Cook, 16 WAPT down in Jackson. Um, I just wanted to ask you what has been the biggest difference you've noticed in this first uh, few training camp sessions from the college game to the to the program to the pro game and what you're uh, grasping in terms of your role with the Saints right now? Um, well, I think obviously the biggest difference for me uh, is just, you know, the things that I'm doing right now. I guess I've never really um, just been a tight end before. I mean, obviously I've done some things as far as like drill work and, um, you know, things like that. But um, just, you know, souling in and just being a tight end right now has is, is been uh, different for me. But uh, still doing some similar things that I've done in the past. So uh, it's been fun. The speed of the game's fast. Um, you know, I went from playing in the Big Ten, played in the SEC. So, um, you know, obviously I've, I've played, you know, a lot of these guys have played in those type of, uh, you know, those conferences. And uh, so speed's been, you know, it's, it's, it's fast, but it's not overwhelmingly fast. So, um, but so far it's been fun. It's been a, it's been a good time. So obviously there's a learning curve, but I'm um, having a good time so far. Next question's from John DeSager, J.D. Tommy, is the learning curve for you slowing slowing the game down some? And how are you just, you know, I guess enjoying the actual role of playing tight end? Because, you know, as you said, it's not something you've done full time. Um, you know, not necessarily. You know, I haven't really thought about it as, like, I need to slow the game down. Um, I'm more so, I, I mean, I guess you can take it that way. I'm more so kind of honing in on, you know, technique and um, trying to figure out, you know, how to play the position, basically. So, uh, those have been the things that I've been, you know, focusing on the, the most, but um, you know, I haven't really looked at it as like, all right, you know, slow down and, um, you know, do it that way. I've just been more focused on, you know, learning from the older guys and, you know, asking a lot of questions and, you know, just trying to take note of everything. You know, does that make it more of a grinding process for you? Because, again, as you said, it's not familiar, it's not totally familiar to you. I mean, I guess so. Um, I, I always... I mean, it's it's the next step up for me. It was was always the way that I you know, I guess imagined it happening. Um, and speaking of like basically saying like going into the NFL is what I meant by that. So um, you know, I knew that there was always going to be it was going to be tougher. So um, but it hasn't been anything over overwhelming. Um, you know, I, I love it. I love it here. I'm having a great time, and um, you know, just trying to take it day by day. Next question is from Amos Morale. Yeah, Tommy, can you kind of take us through how you wound up with the tight ends group? Uh, I mean, obviously, I know when they drafted you, they mentioned a lot of different uh, positions you could potentially have, but how did you wind up working with the tight end specifically? Um, yeah, just, they hit me up, and they were like, hey, uh, we want to start, you know, showing you some things as far as, you know, a role in the tight ends. Um, and I guess that, I mean, it really wasn't like a long, drawn-out process. It was kind of like, all right, we're, we're going to start teaching. Because, you know, the whole offseason, I was learning the offense as a quarterback. So, um, you know, they got me in. They're like, all right, we're going to start going over some of these things as, as, as a tight end. So um, that was really, that was really it. That was all, all we did. <clears throat> all we did. And, um, you know, since, since then, it's just been all tight end stuff. Did learning the offense as a quarterback kind of help you to, maybe now, you know, or I can just focus on learning the techniques or uh, did that, you know, kind of give you any benefit? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely, uh, it, it helped me more in the pass game, I should say. Um, but so I basically had to kind of relearn all the run game um, just because, you know, I was looking at it from a quarterback's perspective and I didn't really, you know, I didn't know all the details that the tight end was going to be, <laughs> the tight end was going to be doing. So, um, but the past game, you know, learning it conceptually has, has really helped me. And, you know, it's definitely been able to, um, it, it's shown up, I guess, in practice and knowing what to do. Next question's from Amy Just. Yeah, one quick follow-up before my actual question. When was the first day that you started working with the tight ends? Specifically, and no more quarterback anymore. Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Um. I don't, I, I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's Friday. Um, it's been, I, I don't know. I mean, since we started practicing, I've been a tight end, so um, I've done that. We, we, we kind of had some, like, meetings and stuff like that before we started practicing, and it was sometime during that process. So, But once we got on the field and started doing, you know, actual work and, you know, running through plays, I, I've been a tight end since. Next question is from Brett Martell. Brett?
Sorry, I just had to get unmuted there. Um, Tommy, uh, to what extent do you expect the tight end designation designation to um, define you football-wise? Um, and I ask because obviously, you know, this, this is a special teams. Uh, they used to have a tight end 10 years ago, Dave Thomas, who lined up a lot of fullback. Um, and second part is, have you, to what extent have you closed the book on playing quarterback professionally in the future? Can you re-ask the first, the first part of the question again? I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the, the first part is just the extent to which you expect the tight end designation to define you football-wise. Mm -hmm. um, because obviously we've seen tight ends who do a number of different things, including even 10 years ago, Dave Thomas would line up at fullback sometimes. Um, so, uh, you know, and your versatility seems to be something that's valued. So I'm just curious as to how much you're seeing yourself going forward as a conventional tight end or not. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it really, I'd say it's not really in my, in my hands. Um, you know, I've, I think I've kind of said really since, and for as long as I can remember, at least I'm always going to do whatever's, you know, asked of me, um, you know, by, by the team, by the organization. So, um, you, know, you know, that carries back to even when I was in high school, I, I did a lot of things, you know, early as, as a young guy and then kind of transitioned into the quarterback role. So, um, you know, I, I, from like the first part of your question, I remember you saying something about closing the book. I haven't closed the book on, on playing quarterback. I think that this is just kind of, you know, where we're at right now. And um, I, I definitely don't think that learning like this and learning the tight end position can hurt me in any way. So, um, you know, right now I'm doing everything that I can to, to be the best tight end that I can, um, like I said, um, right now. But, you know, if they ask me to play quarterback, you know, tomorrow or next week or next year, like it doesn't, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm going to continue to do, um, you know, whatever I can, as best as I can, um, and help make this team as good as I can. Excellent. Thank you. Next question is from Rod Walker. Hey, Tom, I actually have two questions as well. Um, the first I want to ask, have you talked to Taysom Hill much just about, you know, just doing both of those things and just all that versatility that he displayed? Have you, has, have you leaned on him a lot? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Taysom's been great. He, he has been, um, you know, and, and I, I say just Taysom, but, you know, all the older guys have been really, really good to me and, um, you know, really have taken me under the wing, you could say. And um, But, you know, Taysom specifically, you know, I had some questions for him. Uh, even before I got to the building, just talking to him, and um, you know, obviously I was really, really excited to to meet him, to meet everybody here. Um, but you know, given <clears throat> given the the similarities that you know you could say that we have as a player, and um, you know, I, I respect respect his game, love the way that he plays, and um, you know, I, I think that he can be you know the model for for all you know younger younger guys. I mean, you think of you know the definition of a football player. At least in my opinion, is you know a tough guy that can do multiple things to, to help a team. So, um, you know, I, like I said, I love the way that he plays, and um, he, he's been great. He's been great for me. Okay, my follow-up question. I wanted to ask you about. Um, I mean, obviously, you played in the Big Ten and you played in the SEC, and there's two conferences doing two different things as far as this uh, COVID-19. And just kind of want to get your thoughts on, you know, <laughs> what do you think about what both conferences have decided to do so far? Um, I mean, really, um, I haven't really thought about it too much, honestly. I mean, I think it, it sucks for, you know, my guys that I still know that are at Penn State and, um, you know, obviously my guys at Mississippi State are still playing right now. So, um, you know, I, I think that everybody's trying to do the best for the, for the situation and, um, you know, obviously it's not something that I'm uh, really, I, not, I wouldn't say aware of, but I'm no expert in the in what to do what not to do so um, I'm not really going to go into that but um, hopefully hopefully there's something that they can do for those guys in the Big Ten and um, you know we'll see we'll see what happens with the guys in the SEC. Thanks Tom. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Our last question is from Amy Just. Amy? Yeah um, you mentioned you know the veteran guys in the room that you're working with but you've got another rookie in there too in Adam Troutman. What's it been like working with him a guy who has played that position for a while? Yeah Trout's actually probably the guy I've actually you know really spent the most time with during this thing and um, you know just learning from him obviously Trout's played the position for a long time and uh, there's a lot that I can learn from him too um, you know it goes without saying very talented player um, and you know he was very sought after, and I think we're lucky to have him. He's uh, he's been he's been awesome. Obviously, he's a guy that's closer to my age, and um, you know we're kind of going through this thing together as rookies, and 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited for him. He's been great. He's been, you know, he's been really, really good. He's been working a lot with the other group. So, you know, I've been going with Griff and, um, you know, we've, you know, like I said, there's a lot of different things that we've been able to, uh, there are a lot of different situations, I should say, um, that's given me, you know, different opportunities to talk to guys and, and learn. And um, that's, that's really been the coolest thing for me is just getting a lot of different perspective from, from each guy, from, from each coach and, uh, just trying to uh, you know to mold and you know take it all in like a sponge, just trying to you know learn in as many ways as possible, and at the end of the day, just trying to play fast and you know doing what I can. Thanks, Steph. To wrap things up, thanks, Tommy. Thank you, guys.